Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to merge rows and columns of a table and add some vertical spacing in the table. This is the example that we saw in the previous session, which creates a table of three rows and four columns. And the quantity three here is written only because it is applicable for a pen and pencil both. Well, it does give a feel that we merged two rows here, but actually we haven't. The quantity three still does belong to the pen because the way it is placed here. Let's see how exactly to merge two rows. Multi-row package is required to merge rows of a table, and the syntax for merging is slash multi-row with three arguments. The first argument mentions the number of rows to be merged. Second mentions the width, and the third is nothing but the actual content of the row. So the only change done here is that multi-row command is added. Let's see a demo. The CLAN example is opened up. Let's include the multi-row package slash use package multi-row, and instead of this three, we write slash multi-row number of rows. We write two. In place of width, we write star. Star denotes the contents natural width, and in place of the text, we write three. And three is the text that we want to place in multi-row. Let's build and run. We have two rows merged over here. Let's go back to our slides. Well, unlike rows, we do not need any package to merge columns. The syntax is slash multi column having three arguments. The first mentions the number of columns to be merged. Second conveys the alignment that is either L, R, or C, and the third one is the actual content. Let's see a demo. Now, let's type slash h line and slash multi column. Number of columns are four that we want to merge. Position we say center, and text we write stationary items. We end the row with slash slash. Let's build and run. Notice that the vertical lines, left and right borders, for this is missing. Note that along with the alignment, we must also specify the pipe operators. So we come here and we write the pipe operators. Build and run. There you go. This is how we merge columns in a table. Addressing the presentation of a table, it looks a bit cramped. It would be ideal if we could adjust the vertical spacing. Let's write slash re renew command slash array stretch, and we mention say one point five. By default, the value is one. Let's build and run. There you go. Doesn't this table look more presentable than the earlier one? Using this command, one can adjust the vertical spacing. Please feel free to try out more values as well. Let's go back to our slides. Using the array stretch command, we learned to adjust the spacing of the table. I believe that now you should be confident of merging rows and column of a table and make it more presentable by adjusting the vertical spacing between the content. As an exercise. Please try and create a table having many rows, such that it spans across multiple pages. If you like, you may do this by copy pasting the rows as well. Please note what happens when you do this. Thank you. Have a nice day.